Hey, I'm Dave, and this is a Linux video course. Um, I started making this for a friend, but I figured other people could benefit, and if I'm going to take the time to really cover Linux from sort of the basics all the way to a, an intermediate slash advanced administrator level, um, I just figured it's something that other people could benefit from. Uh, why Linux? Well, Linux is cool. It's got a huge community. It's sort of cutting edge. Uh, an unbelievable amount of stuff runs on Linux. So if you like, in terms of percentage of the world's websites or mail servers or just all these services run on Linux, and more and more also client systems, so end user systems, that is even business people and stuff, are using computers that are running Linux. It's great work. It's awesome to learn. It's fun to do. Uh, it also happens to be a great career and uh, really well paid. Um, you can do it basically regardless of your formal qualifications. That is, you don't need to study to become a system administrator or start your career in this. You don't need a degree. Generally, people are really just looking for skill, knowledge about the systems, and some experience in using the tools that are used in production, so the programs and stuff in Linux. So this is a great thing to do if you're just looking for a, a cool thing to learn or a career change or uh, to understand more about computers and security. It allows you to do cool stuff even if you're not interested in a career in Linux, uh, like just running a bunch of services at home. It's a lot of fun to have like a torrent server that's always downloading the torrents, legal torrents, of course, because you would never do anything illegal, or things like setting up a streaming movie server for your friends or your family at your house. It doesn't matter if they're running Linux. I mean, they don't have to know that the server's running Linux. So they could stream movies or TV shows from anywhere in the house. Um, you could set up a mail server to protect your privacy or the privacy of your family. Uh, you could run websites or forums or a blog from your house. You could set up a programming environment or even learn stuff like security or, you know, quote unquote, hacking, which is a misnomer, but we'll get into that later. So basically how this course works, it requires a small commitment from you, and that is to really get the full value out of this course, you have to commit to it. Just, let's say, for 30 days, if you watch these videos every day and you watch it in the order that I create the videos in, you try everything at home. Just watching these isn't going to be enough to give you a solid understanding. Your fingers have to type these things that I'm typing and you have to play around with them even once the video ends. So experiment at home and don't be afraid to break stuff. We're going to use a virtual machine to run Linux in. So you have a little play environment, even if you've got Mac OS X or Windows, um, you can run some Linux just like any other application and experiment around. And if you blow it away, then it's okay. You can just start from scratch without hurting the rest of your system. So it's very, it's become very safe. God knows when I was learning this stuff, I blew away my parents' machine so many times and I think I lost their data once. I mean, just everything was gone. Uh, you don't need to run that risk anymore. Uh, computers are so powerful now that you can run operating systems inside of other operating systems. So what's covered in this course specifically? Um, if you go through this course, my commitment is to help you understand how Linux works, not just on the surface. You know, Linux, running Linux at home has become incredibly easy over the last 10 years. You know, you never have to look at a command line utility if you just want to run Linux at home. Um, and it's great for that. Like, it, it's what I would install on my grandmother's computer because, you know, it's going to be the most secure and simple to use thing by default. Um, for people who just use things like email and Facebook and, and you know, I browse the web, which is almost everyone these days. But this isn't that. This is not a guide to running, like, a Linux desktop at home. This is a deep dive into the Linux system itself. It's really going to help you understand the operating system. And that will allow you to do all kinds of things that are way, way cooler than just running a desktop system at home. This course is going to be command line heavy about... I, I want to say everything, but, you know, I, I know I'm going to break that promise at some point, but, like, 99% of what I'm going to show you is done in the shell, so in this environment that you're seeing here. 
we're going to help you become a command line whiz. Right now I'm going to be focusing on the most common shell, commonly found in the most popular Linux distributions, and that's Bash, the born again shell. We're going to talk about uh, the boot process and system init, so the startup of a Linux kernel and user land stuff. We're going to talk about access control and root or god powers. We're going to talk about how the file system is laid out, where everything is, how it works. We're going to talk about process control, so controlling the processes or applications as they run. And then we're going to get as quickly as possible into common sysadmin tasks, so managing users, managing storage, uh, managing packages and security patches, updating software. We're going to cover the most common remote tools for remote system administration, so like SSH, Secure Shell, which is a cryptographically secure shell that you can connect from one computer to the other and work on it as if it were local, and things like backup that use those tools. We're going to cover sort of basic problem solving and troubleshooting methodology, and other things like just, you know, where the log files are and sort of good to know, stuff like that. Application configuration, of course, is part of this. Common services that you would want to run or would be running in a production system, so in a professional setting. Like, or even at home, really. I mean, file sharing, web, like these are all things that you can run from home. Um, but we'll also talk security in a way that's a little bit more professional than perhaps uh, you would need at home. But it's obviously still useful for home use. Uh, we'll talk about the Linux kernel itself. Now, Linux really is just the kernel, which is the very core of the operating system and the operating system itself. But most of the software you're going to use on Linux is it's GNU software, so uh, it's actually the real term, and there's like huge philosophical battles over this, but it's GNU Linux, not just Linux. The GNU people get very angry when you call it just Linux. So it's a Linux kernel in a GNU user land system, um, but we'll, we'll talk about the kernel, so Linux itself, underneath all there, we're going to basically peek up the skirt of this whole machine and uh, see how it all works. And that's, that's starting to get into real... That's in the weeds, basically. That's pretty pretty heavy technical stuff then. But you'll be able to understand it by the time we, we get to it. Um, and that's also when we'll cover uh, networking basics. So TCP IP networking, which is the way the internet works, basically. And the layers of that and how they interact. And then we'll even cover some advanced networking and security. So also some of the networking applications that run, like how routing works on the internet, how DNS, the domain name system, works. Uh, and some some security knowledge I'll also cover. Um, and then we'll even get into some more advanced networking and security concepts like routing, how routing works uh, on the internet, DNS, or the domain name system, uh, intrusion detection, vulnerability scanning, checking your machines to see if you can get into them, seeing if they're vulnerable to things. Uh, and then some resources for going further down that road. We're not going to go down like the hacking pen testing road um, too far, but this certainly will give you the foundation you absolutely need if you ever want to do that, because you're absolutely no good to anyone as like a hacker for hire that is, you know, sort of a, a penetration tester if you don't know like the fundamentals of TCP IP networking. And that's what I'll give you here. I'll also, just for those of you who are interested in getting work as Linux or Unix system administrators. It's a phenomenal career. Uh, I, it is my chosen career. I'll give you some words on like job hunting, certifications that might be useful, additional skills that you might need, that kind of thing. So if you really stick with this and you commit to going through this course, you're going to learn a lot about Linux. That is my commitment to you. Good. But basically, your grandma can't sit down and take this course. Here's the deal. If you're already reasonably proficient on a computer, so like you know what a CPU is and you know that that's a processor and you know the difference between memory or RAM and hard drive space, and you know what a command line or shell is or have at least heard of these things, then you can you can take this course. If you don't know these things, if you have really, if you're sort of a computer newbie, this course is not for you. 
uh, you need to get some basic knowledge first and then you can do this. This is sort of starting to be intermediate to advanced computer use. Now I'll cover the basics. I will cover very basic shell commands like moving around the file system on the shell. So even if you've never worked on the shell before or very little or you've only copy and pasted things in there to try to get things working, that's fine. We'll cover what you need to know, but I'm not going to cover it in huge detail. So the less you know, the more kind of work you'll have to do to get caught up to where we start. So I hope that gives you a good idea of where we're going and what this course can do for you. Um, yeah, let's get started. Uh, just general outline. Most video. I'm going to try to keep the videos as short as possible. This will hopefully be a fairly long video um, in terms of the basic set of videos. But then as we get to more advanced topics, they'll obviously require more time to cover. So you know, we'll get back into the 15 minute to 20 minute video range. But certainly for all the basics, for all the basic sysadmin stuff, I'm going to cover it really one topic at a time, one topic per video. And we're going to build it up in the way that we, in the order that we need to know it. I'm aiming for like six minute videos. So we'll see how close I get, but enjoy. I hope you're ready. We're going to turn you into a freaking hacker.